Hello, you guys. Welcome back. Or if you're new here, welcome. Today, I have lots of cleaning motivation for you. I'm going to be tidying up the bedrooms, cleaning both of our upstairs bathrooms, um, cleaning up our kitchen area. And at the end, I have a little snack that I need to prep for the kiddos. So lots to do today. Lots of cleaning and motherhood motivation. So don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. So I'm going to be starting off in the primary bedroom here, just getting the bed made and kind of getting the room straightened up. Next, it is on to the kids' bedroom. You will see them popping in here to quote unquote help. Um, so we're just gonna get their beds made and get their room situated. So we have officially started back to school. My son has started second grade and my daughter who's in kindergarten, she is doing, her school does like a staggered start. So she has a couple days this week and then she has a couple days off and then she'll start the following week for a normal typical week. So let me know in the comments down below if your school districts do the staggered start for all students because I know there's a lot of districts around here that do that or if they do a staggered start for kindergarten or if everybody just just starts all at once. Next up, I will be cleaning the kids' bathroom. I'm going to get to it all today, not only tidy it up, we're gonna wipe down the countertops, the mirrors, uh, get in there and clean the bathtub, and also can't forget the toilets. Cleaning the bathrooms is towards the top of my list of my least favorite household chores to do. Um, so let me know in the comments down below, what is your least favorite like household chore or task that you have to do? I know I've talked about in my previous videos how I dislike mopping, although again, with my new mop that I've been using, I haven't been hating it so much. So I think cleaning the bathrooms has maybe taken the top spot on my least favorite chore list. One of the things that I noticed needed done before I started cleaning the bathtub um, is that these little like grippy stickers on the bottom of our bathtub that help keep the kids from falling in the bathtub, a bunch of them were starting to come up. So I took a few of the old ones off that were already coming off and put some new ones down. This was a pack I had from Amazon that came with so many that um, I've been able to just kind of replace the few over the years as they start to come off. But yeah, I just like to have these down at the bottom of the bathtub just to kind of help ensure that there aren't any slips or falls while the kids are taking a bath or a shower. So this fall might be our busiest season to date. Um, my daughter is now doing cheerleading, like I mentioned, and I'm helping coach her squad. My son is doing fall soccer, and my husband is the head coach of his soccer team. So with both kids in sports, both of us coaching and both of us working full time, our schedule is about to get really crazy, but I also know we're about to make a lot of super fun memories. Now it is on to the toilet. I always save the toilet for last. That way any of the nasty toilet germs that get on my rag, it can just be tossed right into the wash and then I can get a fresh rag for whatever other cleaning I have left. But yes, I always save the toilet for last. I can't fall asleep. I just lay in my bed wondering if there's anybody. Or if I was born to be lonely, I've been trying. 
but I'm burned out from my feelings. Next up is my bathroom and my husband's bathroom. We definitely need to get a better organizational system going in here because this is what it looks like frequently. So I'm going to get this tidied up and we are going to get the counters and mirrors wiped down and get the bathtub and shower area cleaned up as well. And this you'll notice me. Oh, I'm sending out an SOS from the sinking in my soul. Oh. And I just need you to know I'm sending smoke signals Cause I've been feeling so alone I'm losing hope Can anybody see me? I've been on my own For so long that I'm scared That I might never find someone to take me home So I'm sending smoke so this is my husband's basket of goodies from deodorant to shaving supplies, lotion, all of those things. So it tends to get relatively messy and things just get tossed in there. So I'm just going to take a quick minute and try to get it a little more organized and everything fitting in the basket at least a little better. The towels here needed changed out so I'm going to quickly swap those out for some new fresh towels. You will have to let me know in the comments down below how often are you doing like a full clean of your bathrooms. I'm lucky if once a month we get to do like the full clean. We wipe down the counters and the mirrors relatively frequently because I can't stand when there's like stuff all over the mirror, especially toothpaste all over these mirrors. Um, but as far as doing like the full blown toilets and bathtubs and showers and all of that, I feel like that's maybe once a month that we get to that. I would love to get to it more and I'd love to say we get to it more, but it just doesn't always happen the way. So let me know how often you're able to do a full clean of your bathroom. So I know fall is right around the corner and I keep seeing all the fall decorations put out and the other fall decorating videos that are already out. I am not quite ready for that just yet, although summer is clearly done and we're back to school and all of those things, I feel like I still have to at least wait till after Labor Day to do my fall decorating. So let me know in the comments down below, when do you start decorating for fall and Halloween? Wishing you would call me yours, but I'm just another castaway. When's it gonna be my time? I can feel it coming close. Maybe if I start another fire. Now it is on to the kitchen. I have the dishwasher that is needing unloaded, and I have a pile of dishes that are needing washed in the sink. And take me to a movie on that name. Cause you threw me So like I said earlier, my kids are back to school, which means I am back to working full time. If you are new here, I work uh, for a school district as a physical therapist and a part of the special ed department and team. So the mornings have been coming really early and I definitely miss the slower paced and more relaxed mornings from the summer. 
But despite that, it is nice to be back into a routine for the kids to have their own place to go and things to do and for me to have my workplace to get to go do the other things that I love besides being a mom. So it really is a good balance with work life and home life and I'm very thankful for the schedule, school year schedule that I get to have. Looking for someone, anyone, to call my name out loud. I'd get anxious, no one knows me, standing in the crowd. Now I've got your eyes. My son actually wanted to help with the dishes, so when they ask, I'm certainly going to let them. And I love that they're starting to show more and more interest in helping and doing chores. We have expectations already of things that they need to be cleaning up, but I always like when they offer. And of course, I have to say yes, even if it takes a little more time and even if I have to rewash a few things. But also, my son chose to do the dishes without his shirt on because he had one of his favorite soccer jerseys on and he did not want to get anything on it. So he is doing the dishes without a shirt on. Be mine and your voice to calm me down. And take me to a movie. I'm just going to quickly wipe down the sink. It was starting to look a little grimy, so it just needed a quick clean so that it's nice and fresh for our dishes. To me that's love. To me that's love. Take me to the ocean, out into the waves. Hold me in your arms, we can float away. And the final thing I need to get done today is put together this little snack mix trail mix that I've been wanting to make for my kids just for quick snacks for after school or for practices or car rides or whatever. So these were all things we already had laying around the house. They were pretzels. We had like the cinnamon toast crunch type cereal cashews, some M&Ms, raisins, Cheerios, all of that. So I just am tossing it all together and then I'm going to get it put into little snack bags so that way we can have it for on the go or in the house. These ended up being a decent enough hit with my kids, although they both asked, what are the little brown things you put in here? We don't like uh, meaning the raisins, although they did like the yogurt raisins, so at least that was sort of a win, but they overall did like this, and I'm looking forward to making a like more fall pumpkin-y type one. Um, sometime like in September or October and just try to add some different fall themed little candies and fall flavors into it, and I think that could be really fun. the trail mix worked out and it ended up making about five or six little bags that I could use for on-the-go snacks. And that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys in my next one.